Dave from Fouled Up Waterfowlers here, and today I'd like to talk to you about building yourself a camo field blanket. These are a great hide at a low cost for some very specific circumstance. If you're hunting an area that has a field that has very little cover, this is a great blind. If you're hunting some very wise geese late season and they're picking out blinds, this can be your savior. If you're taking a new buddy hunting with you who hasn't invested in a coffin blind but you want to game out in the field, this is a great low cost alternative. This project only requires five ingredients. The first, some quality camo netting, lightweight, tear resistant, leafy cut. You can find a lot of this stuff at Aperture Outposts. Check them out. Next, some cable ties. You can get them at Walmart for, you know, 100 for two bucks. Pick yourself up some. The third, some raffia grass, not a bunch of it. Quarter pound to do you fine, colored, dark brown, light brown, tan, green, mixed it together. And the last, a little bit of effort. You put these things together, you can have a good tool that you'll use over and over. All right, well here we are, we got our materials cut out, and I thought I'd give you a gander at them. We're using uh, Aperture Outpost netting. I like the leafy netting without the nylon um, string backing. I think that's important because I've used this stuff before. It ends up getting caught in your boots and such, tangled up and causes more headache. I like the really lightweight, tear resistant, mildew resistant, uh, leaf cut netting. Uh, so I use uh, duck blind. It uh, doesn't have to be duck line. There's a lot of good colors out there. Pick something that you have confidence in. Uh, the next is I got a bag of these black cable ties. Cost you a buck and a half or two bucks at the Walmart. Use those to tie some rope down and some of the raffia grass. I got right here maybe a quarter pound of raffia grass painted different or dyed different colors. There's brown, green, tan, and uh, real light gold. And then I'm using this uh, half inch rope. What I do is I double the rope on, on the outside edges of this uh, netting. And the reason for that is just to give it a little bit more substance, a little more gravity, a little more weight, so I can throw it off of me easy when I'm uh, getting in and out of it. This is the netting I'm using. You can see it, it's a leaf cut, lightweight, tear resistant, mildew resistant. Uh, the stuff I'm using is duck blind camo. It's, uh, the most important thing is that it's light, tear resistant, and uh, leaf cut. The leaf cut's really important. Now I'm gonna take these black cable ties, connect the rope, and then I'll start putting some raffia and just spread it around to it. And when I get done, I'll give you another look at it. As you can see what I'm doing is I'm taking the black ties. I've doubled the rope up. I'm coming down one at the outside edge about every four to five inches. I'm putting a black tie. I'll come back with these uh, wire cutters and I'll clip off the ends. And that's, that's how I get the rope on. Got the uh, rope now tied on, so I'm just going to turn it over. My uh, pattern side up. Now I'm going to add the raffia grass onto the duck blind camo. Um, I'm going to use these black ties and put it down to a pretty loose pattern, and then I will clip the remaining black tie down to as close as I can to the uh, lock. You don't want the grass bundled up too thick and you don't want to use a whole bunch of it. Just a little bit to give it a little bit more 3D effect. I keep the grass all colors all mixed together. And I have, I make sure and let the grass stick out over the ends. So it provides a kind of a blended effect when it's out in the field. All right, well, I got the raffia grass put onto the field blind. 
This is what the blanket looks like, very lightweight. I also wanted to point out to you that uh, I started off with about uh, what I thought was about a quarter pound of raffia grass. Um, this is what I didn't use. So probably over half of, well, certainly over half of what I had uh, set out to use, I didn't even use. Because you don't need a lot when you get this good quality camouflage leafy cut netting. You don't need a lot of raffia on top of it. Just enough to catch some of the field debris when you put it on there and just add a little bit more dimension to your outfit. Now I'm going to show you how I use this blind in the field. Take my blind bag, use it for a headrest. Take the blanket. Lay down in the corn. Now, hunting, I'd have a gloves and a face mask on, and a good brimmed hat, like I got. Put my gun out here to the side. Now, I got, you know, just the height of my chest and my head. It's fairly comfortable, believe it or not. I can hunt out of this and have done so. Shot crows, shot ducks, shot geese from this uh, outfit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video tip on building yourself a camo field blanket. I hope you can use it to kill yourself a few more ducks or a few more geese or maybe even some crows this summer. You know, I'm never one to put down getting a nice coffin blind. If it's raining or the wind's blowing, the snow is falling, they can be mighty comfortable inside. But in the early season, on good days, or when you have to go small, the, field, the camo field blanket can be your best friend. So until I see you in the field, be good, be careful, and be lucky.